Hello everyone, this is Melody and I'm coming to you with a little collective random just how you doing type video. So February um, is almost gone but I wanted to show you a tag I made for Valentine. And it's a uh, paper I know is from Crate Paper. I um, got it a while back in, um, Tuesday morning for like $2.99 and I cut it up in layers. And I inked it with some of the Tim Holtz uh, candied apple. The lady is the Prima Doll. She's watercolored, which um, I find a little bit easier for me than, you know, trying to do all the Copic coloring and marker coloring and shading. I like either way, but this was just something I was doing one night. And I stickled her dress to give her some shine. Um, there's one of those Martha Stewart... Um, punches the bigger ones that were really expensive and then they start clearancing them out at Michael's. This is the one that's kind of like a doily. I layered some of those in the background to give it a, some more texture. And I did some little cutouts from the paper and popped out of them. And she's on one of the um, watercolor type Prima tags and they've discontinued the um, the original pack that was the one with the the little uh, writing and it was more of a vintage look bring those back prima everybody loves them and you can't get them now I, um i saw a pack on i think amazon because i wanted another pack and they were like 16 dollars for it i was like yeah that's not happening and i did this eight by eight and this one has paper piecing and these are colored with markers the guy's got a 1980s type suit going and I stickled his tie just to be funny and there's stamping in the background I don't know which stamps I used sorry I can't tell you but you know and um, I did a heart punch and made like a little border just cute cute little eight by eight layout i think i'm gonna try and do a couple of those um every month and you know make myself a little book that way i'm using up my prima stuff or my doll stamps excuse me um this one is the mermaid and i stamped her in the ranger archival sepia ink uh to give it a give her a softer look than using the black and if you stamp on like um, a beige or a buff or a tan colored paper, you can still use some ink or markers to um, kind of color them up and give them a little bit more definition, but, um, you know, make the skin tone look a little bit more natural. It, like a mermaid's natural, right? Okay, so there you go. And I use some stickles to uh, highlight the background paper. I don't know the name of this paper, but I got it um, as a single sheet from like AC Moore years ago, and it worked out perfectly because it gave her uh, under the sea background. Go me. Using my creativity. Mm -hmm. um, this I made for a friend, and it is the smaller size Prima tag, and I don't have my ruler. Oh, wait. This craft mat is going to die. So you can see it says, what, one, two, three, four, like about six inches. Yeah. So there you go. So you can see. Um, this is the Prima tag, and I want to show you how thick they are. Now, you can see that that's the Prima one. Um, but I also found, and I paid, um, I think I paid about four bucks for that. Um, this is the packaging, and it was the small size. There is a different size. They're new for 2016. But this is um, the one from Michaels, and this is three three ninety nine. dollars um, Not as thick. You get 12 of those as well in the pack. But I'm going to show you the comparison so you know for those of you who, uh, you know, just want to know. So, again, this is the Prima tag that's actually done up, and that's the Michaels tag. Now, this is considered the small one. There is a larger one. Um, and this is what they look, this is what the Prima looks like in the package. But they are considerably thicker. 
than the Michaels. So it's what you're looking for. But both of them are great. Ooh, both of them are great for um, heavier projects. So now let me tell you about this tag. So the ribbon is actually from Dollar Tree from years ago. And it's like a bronzy gold. Um, this is a cheese it box that I cut out uh, with the Sizzix Tim Holtz die. And then I um, embossed it with some random embossing folder. Um, these little guys, the butterflies, if you remember, these are from Michaels from years ago. And um, they already had some texture and dimension to them. But I went ahead and painted them with the new... Finnebear Art Alchemy paints. Look at those. Are those not yummy or what? And I used, uh, I think I used three. Yeah, I used these three. These three. So this one is blue gold. These are the opal, opal ones. This one is not. This one's light patina. It's not. This one um, is really weird. It's very pretty, but it comes out looking um, quite milky. So it's it is very very light so um i'm finding that this particular color is wonderful but it's better layered with other colors and this one is another one of the opals and this one's pink blue i don't know if you can see the difference with my light between the yeah you kind of can see that one's got more gold in it and that one you can kind of see the pink anyway these are wonderful. They're yummy, yummy, yummy. Yummy, yummy, yummy. So that's what I used for um, painting the background. And the back is just plain. I think I'm going to layer some paper on it because I want to send this to um, a friend. And you can see that opal mm -hmm. happening if I tilt everything. And I did um, some stenciling with a Tim Holtz stencil and some of the Michaels molding paste. And so this Michaels molding paste is back there where they have their uh, tubes of paint and it's the Artist Mind brand if anyone's looking for it. Um, these are some of those older Prima flowers that we all found at Tuesday morning years ago. These are some random metal buttons or jewelry findings that I got from Walmart and I uh, put the paint on them so that they would, you know, blend in and match, but I really wanted to add some metal to the tag. So that's my tag. And this is what I'm working on right now before I go. So eons ago, I got these plastic shadow box frames. They're eight by 10 from Michaels. And I dropped this, broke the glass, but I'm not gonna let it die. So I painted the inside with various paints, including um, that turquoise or patina Finnebear paint. And I'm using the Prima Lifetime paper. And this foam stamp I got from Hobby Lobby time years ago. And I'm not going to let this go. So I'm, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. And um, this is some of the things I've done. I've got a, a Heidi Swap tag in here that I've distressed up with distress inks. And you can see the little watermarks and stuff. Got some doilies from tons and tons and time ago from Michael's Dollar Bin. Uh, that's paint, but that's a uh, distress ink. I think that's walnut stain. And so I stamped the background to give it some interest. This is a little memento wood chip I got from Joanne's that I distressed up with some paint. And I haven't glued anything down yet because I'm just fooling around with, you know, layout, so to speak. But um, I'm not going to give up on this. And one of the ladies from Facebook had a great idea. She said, get a Dollar Tree frame. And just take the glass out and use it, you know, recycle it. So that's great. Well, running out of time. Thanks for watching. Um, leave me a comment and give me a thumbs up so other people will see my channel. Thanks. That was a plug, right? Love you. Bye.